Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Frank Turner. Here's a look at the top stories we're following for you today. President Joe Biden visiting Michigan today, the first time since his inauguration. President Biden going to Kalamazoo, touring a Pfizer vaccine plant, meeting with people producing the COVID-19 vaccine. His trip, scheduled for yesterday, delayed by winter weather. The House likely to vote on his $1.9 trillion relief package next week. Congressman Dan Kildee announcing more than $4 million for five mid-Michigan airports. The federal grants helping offset costs from the pandemic, including operations, personnel, cleaning, and paying debts. Flint Bishop Airport getting the most money, more than $2.5 million. Pfizer says new data shows its COVID-19 vaccine can be stored at warmer temperatures. The vaccine remains stable, stored for two weeks at standard freezer temperatures. The vaccine previously approved to be stored at normal refrigeration temperatures for up to five days only. Pfizer submitting the new data to the FDA to help vaccine centers manage their supply. And now here's Chris with your forecast. Uh, then Frank, it looks like we've got clouds moving back in after some of us were lucky enough to see some sunshine late this morning. Those clouds will eventually be joined by some snow showers that return for the second half of the day. Those snow showers will be scattered about as we go through the afternoon and evening, not expecting them to drop a ton of snow, but they might lead to some quick accumulation out on the roads, which could make things slick as you're out and about for tonight. So just be careful if you have Friday evening plans. Those snow showers should wind down as we head into tonight, and it looks like we're off to a great start to your weekend tomorrow. I think we'll have some sunshine in between some passing clouds and we should stay largely dry. We'll keep an eye on some lake effect snow bands that might get close to the thumb. But other than that, it should be a quiet day tomorrow. How much accumulation? Most areas check in at an inch or less with any new accumulation tonight. It looks like going into the second half of the weekend, we'll have a better chance with accumulation going into Sunday night. We're dry most of the day, but by Sunday evening, that system gets set to roll through. I think it's primarily snow at first, and then we'll possibly mix with some mixed uh, precipitation into early Monday morning, and that could cause a slow morning commute on Monday as we start the next work week. Work week so we need to watch that one closely throughout the weekend. High temperatures today, mid 20s to upper 20s, so getting closer to average usual highs this time of year, right around the low 30s. I think we'll hit that mark on Sunday, even warmer early next week. A few scattered chances for rain and snow on Tuesday and Wednesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.